All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Basically, good shit. Good shit. Good shot. Yes, guys, welcome back to the channel. Yeah, right there is a prime example of why I cannot do a serious intro at the field. But today, I'm going to be taking you guys through some first touch drills and a little bit of shooting at the end that I did with Jacob Carrasco. And this session is actually my one of my first ones during the off season as I was sick the past two weeks. And so this session is just to get me back into the groove of things. Uh, it was about a week ago, so it was just a light session, and I'm going to take you guys through the whole session and just take you guys through my thought process through each exercise. Let's get right into it. I'm recording. Yes. Oh my god. I'm on the Carrasco vlogs. You Are gotta, you posting them? You gotta what come the? close. Alright. Watch. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, so for this first drill, after we did the warm up, we just got those four cones, set it up in a box, and we just worked on doing juggling and trying to keep the person in the box, trying to keep his first touch inside the box at all times. Uh, we tried to keep it to touch uh, as we progressed. We kind of just were trying to get the hang of it at first, and then we tried to challenge each other by trying to just only do two touches or one touch. And the reason we're doing these simple drills first is because, you know, uh, not being able to train after a while, after being sick for two weeks, I didn't want to jump right into fitness or sprinting or anything too hard. So just wanted to start off the session with a little bit of first touch work and it was fun to do too. So I'll let the rest of it play out. Once we finished the juggling, we moved into this first touch drill. We added a bounce in between those two cones right there. And then you have to touch it on the half volley with the instep of your foot first. And this one was a really fun one. It was honestly a little bit challenging for me at first, uh, just because I feel like volleys in general are just kind of a hard thing for me in the past. So, and then Jacob doing a little bit of showing off with the no look there. But yeah, these ones were really fun to do. I think it's really important to work on your first touch on the bounce. Now everything's gonna be on the ground or perfectly in the air and you're gonna have to deal with a little bit more challenging balls like these that have to bounce. So I thought this was really good to work on. And then after we did these, we moved on to doing it with the laces. So we're getting comfortable with using multiple parts of our foot. And this was honestly really good for me to see right there. I was just... Honestly, pretty uncomfortable with it. Uh, I think uh, I think I learned. I think I got the hang of it at the end, not there, but uh, I was getting the hang of it. It's all honestly just about working on the technique, trying to perfect it, and then after these, we worked on shooting. For the final drill, we worked on shooting, pretty much just doing this two-touch challenge, take a touch on the 18 and then shoot it. That was not a good shot. 
Um, I kind of struggled with this, um, but I didn't. My, I didn't want to do too much of this as I'm coming back from two weeks of sickness, so I didn't want to do too much shooting as that's pretty heavy on the legs. So just tried to work on my first touch technique and placement, and then at the end we worked on free kicks just for fun. So I'm gonna end the voice over here and just let the rest of the clips play out. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and comment down below what videos you want to see in the near future as I am in the off season and we'll have more time on my hands. And I'll see you guys in the next video.